We have to shed a couple of tears for <laughs> drop tear drop tear drop. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, that was a really, really rough ending. <laughs> So intense. What a way to go out. When you got the script and you saw, I'm sure they let you know in advance, hey, this is coming up. This is where we're headed. But what did you think about how they decided to take Evelyn and her sons out? So honestly, I, I didn't get the scripts in, in advance. It was just really as the episode was coming up just a couple of days before they would, you know, give me just those scenes. And um, they were really wonderful about letting us talk about the the specific way they were planning to get rid of the family. Because at first, I I found it so disturbing. I thought I don't I don't I, I didn't even feel necessarily com. It's an odd thing to say, but comfortable with it. And um, we had a whole discussion about it. You know, the, the actors, the director. Um, and it was an even Brett Mahoney, which was just like, let us talk about it and discuss it and told us what their thinking was behind coming up with this particular way for them to, um, you know, meet their end. And it was ultimately, I think it was a really interesting choice, hard to watch, um, in some ways harder to watch than if they had just been sort of shot and it was over and done, um, but a really interesting one and sad, really tragic for a family to go out that way, you know, suffering. I mean, really, when you think about it. So when we were first introduced to Evelyn, you know, it was after her husband had passed and she was looking for answers. So mm -hmm. for this character, kind of, she always felt like to me that she knew a little bit more than what she was letting on, but she was choosing peace. So why do you think she made that choice? Because I feel like she knew Monet, was being shady. We obviously saw her take out the details that she knew that she was involved in Lorenzo's death, but why do you think she chose to hold everything back a little bit and give her grace? Well, you know, she, she came up with this family. They were very tight, um, really, really close a long time ago. And she knows, she knows this family. She knows that they have us. Um, the kids call her auntie. Uh, and so there was, there was a time I think when they really should, they were over for dinner and it was a it was a a, a usual kind of thing, more a uh, part of each other's lives. And when Frank went to prison, that sort of all changed. And I think that when he came out and she couldn't find him, she knew as as Monet says to her, this is the life we chose. Um, I think the decision for her to, to keep the peace really had to do with keeping her family intact, what was left of her family. And her boys are the most important thing in the world to her. So it's, she knows how this goes. She knows all, what happens at the end, you know, for this family is something that I think Evelyn knew was a possibility. And she's like, I'll do whatever it takes to make sure that that doesn't happen to my boys. And she, she doesn't call them young men. She calls them, these are her boys and she'll do anything to take care of them. So um, one thing that I did enjoy, and, and this is kind of a side about um, Evelyn and even Monet's character uh, in reference to their sons, especially Drew and Gordo and their relationship is that it just kind of was, it wasn't a big deal that they were gay. It's just, this is who they are. We love our kids. We don't have to make it a message moment. It just goes in the flow. So can you talk a little bit about her relationship with Gordo and seeing, you know, two family members get together? She seemed okay with it initially. Yeah. I feel that they were okay with it. And as mothers, you know, they were completely accepting, like you said, they're, they're, and, and there wasn't a, a need to make a moment out of it for the viewers. It's just, we do accept this. They love their sons. They know their sons wanna be together. Um, I think the only conflict that either one of them had was just about their safety and what could this lead to that could be potentially dangerous or deadly. But I think they, the fact that they both accepted both of their sons in this way, um, I thought was really wonderful, really great. And I think it, without it being a message, it just is a message, which I think is great. Yeah, I love that. So obviously, you know, we as fans have seen you um, from New York Undercover, Dexter. Mm -hmm. 
various crime dramas. So where does Evelyn rank as far as one of your favorite characters in type of this site type of series? Uh, well, I have to say I hadn't seen when Power was out, uh, when when Ghost, when Power was first out and people were saying, oh my gosh, you have to get on get on this show. I, I wasn't watching it at the time that it was airing. And then when I, I saw it later on, I was I was just floored by it. I thought it, I thought it was a really wonderful show, wonderful acting, wonderful storyline. So then, ow, my cat just fell. Um, so um, when this happened, you know, when I got the opportunity to do Power Book Two Ghost, I was really excited and excited because she is a different character for me. She's she's in, on the other side of the, of the law, and um, that was fun. It was really really fun, and the last scene where she gets to square off with Monet I was I couldn't wait to do that I couldn't wait to just be able to play something that's just different than than you know what's what's more typical for me so in that um this cast seems really close that they enjoy each other I know that um you know there's probably limited limits to who you work with who's in the scene but what did you enjoy about this experience these past couple of seasons i enjoyed that they they do seem very close but they were so uh incredibly welcoming everyone um from the costume designer to the showrunner to the actors just really, really welcoming. But I gotta say, working with Mary J was just m my favorite part of it, hands down. I think she is uh, such an amazing icon and having the opportunity to work with her was really, really special. So obviously Evelyn dropped a little intel on her way out of the door. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just a little bit, just yeah. Little let me let you in on this little piece of thing that might have changed your mind before. So from your perspective as a fan of the show, right? What do you think Drew's next move, Drew and Kane's next move should be? What it should be? I mean, <laughs> I mean, uh, Drew had, he, he really cared about Gordon. This relationship was really important to him. And, you know, one of the things about the show is that the, over and over again, their parents who are supposed to have their best interests at heart, right? In this world, they that's the thing. They never know. Can they trust each other? Some, you know, your dad's gonna do something that's really crazy, your mom's gonna do something that's really crazy. And how do they deal with it? Can they trust each other? And so I think all like this, all levels of trust, I feel are going out the window. This family can no longer trust any member within it. And um I mean, it feels, it's really intense and I don't know where it's going to go. I don't know where it's going to go, but I'm really looking forward to seeing it wherever it goes.